Decades before psychologist Daniel Kahneman sold over 2.5 million copies of his book, Thinking Fast and Slow, and won a Nobel Prize in Economics, he was a fellow at Stanford University trying to publish his research in scholarly journals. During this time, he co-authored one of the most highly cited articles ever published called Prospect Theory, an Analysis of Decision Under Risk. Let's use Kahneman's seminal work as an entry point into the scholarly conversation. A quick search in Google Scholar on the article and author name retrieves 92,000 hits. I scan the results page looking specifically at the cited by number and practice click restraint. It's not the first Google hit, nor is it the second Google hit, nor the third Google hit that I want. It's the fourth with over 73,000 cited references. The lesson here is to practice click restraint. This link brings me to the publisher's website. I click on the PDF link to retrieve the article chapter and am immediately directed to pay a minimum of $30 for access. As a librarian, I know there are other ways to get this article, so I abandon the search and return to Google Scholar. The link to the right of the article title links to the text of the original work provided by JSTOR. The PDF is a reproduction of the original article published in Econometrica from 1979. Now I want to explore the backward part of Kahneman's citation trail, or the bibliography. I scroll to the bottom of the article to the references section. I dismiss the first reference because it's a book. The second is in French, which I cannot read. But the third article by Anderson and Chanteau looks good. I copy the full citation, open a different Google Scholar tab and paste the citation in. There is no PDF link to the right, so I click on the article title. The publisher website asks me for $15 to purchase the article, which I will not do. I can try two more things before contacting a librarian for help. Back in Google Scholar, there's a link which says all five versions. I can click there to see if a PDF link shows up on the right side of the list, which it does not. The final step is to search the citation in regular Google to see if a copy is out on the web somewhere. I skip the first two because the URL says something about a record, which I'm not looking for. Luckily, the third says PDF. I click on that and there is my article. I repeat this process for every reference from Kahneman's work I want to examine. The second part of examining the scholarly conversation is finding the articles that cite the Kahneman article, or the forward part of the citation trail. Back in my original Google Scholar search tab, I click on the Cited by 73,000 link. I perform the same navigation as I did with the Anderson and Chanteau article, clicking on the right-hand links for PDF access. But realistically, 73,000 citations are too many for me to work with. Say I'm interested only in how Kahneman influenced the understanding of political decision-making. I can click on the box that says search within citing articles and add a keyword, in this case, politics. Nearly 12,000 of the 73,000 hits pertain to politics. I could further hone my search by adding another keyword, like American government, which brings my total down to a reasonable 155 articles. If my topic is on risky behaviors like gambling, I could use that as a keyword. My 9,700 results show that Kahneman's original work is cited in recent books and articles on gambling. These articles and books include very different disciplines, including psychology, advertising, neuroscience, and business. This is how to use Google Scholar wisely. It is a skill that anyone can learn with practice and patience. The quicker you get at finding the articles, the more time you have to spend on reading and analyzing their content.